Hey everybody, it's Professor Davis here from ChemSurvival.com and the YouTube channel ChemSurvival. I'm going to talk to you today about something called a distillation plot, which you'll probably be creating in your organic chemistry lab soon. Now, a distillation plot is really just a way of documenting uh, how effective a distillation run was. And so I'm only going to explain that to you today. If you're not familiar with the process and theory behind simple and fractional distillations, you should probably check out my micro lectures on the topics available at these links. Now, for those of you who are already familiar with distillation, let's take a look at a boiling flask. I've represented it here as a simple still, but it could just as easily be a fractional still. So what I'm going to do as I run my still is use the thermometer that I've placed here next to the sidearm to measure the temperature of the vapor passing through the still head. And I'm going to plot that as a function of the volume of the distillate that I've collected. So why on earth would I want to do such a thing? Well, the reason is that presumably the vapor which is moving through the still head is at the same temperature as the boiling point at, of the distillate that I'll be collecting. So by measuring the temperature within the still head, I'm in effect measuring the boiling point of the distillate that I've collected. And I can use that information to glean some knowledge about how pure my distillate really is. So I'm going to start off by just marking the boiling points of my pure components. The red would be the more volatile. And in this case, let's make the blue component the less volatile. And then I'm going to apply some heat. And as my mixture begins to boil, as we might expect, we'll see a vapor which is enriched in the red component. But there's only so much red component in the mixture. So as I allow all that red component to begin vaporizing and recondensing elsewhere, I find that there's less and less of it to be had. And eventually, my distillate has a lot of blue in it. So if I've plotted the temperature as a function of volume collected, I expect that temperature to increase over time. Now, we already know from our distillation discussions on Routes and Dalton's laws that that mixture can never boil at a temperature outside of the extremes defined by the pure liquid's boiling points. But as the still gets better and better at separating the two, the distillation plot is going to have a, a different slope and different limits. Specifically, the slope will increase and the limits will get further and further apart as my still gets better and better at separating these compounds. So for example, if I had run a simple still and obtained the yellow distillation plot, I might switch to fractional and see something like I see now. So the take home lesson here is that wider temperature ranges and steeper transitions in a distillation plot are indicative of a more effective separation. That's all for now, folks. I'll see you next time. The holidays are just around the corner. Don't forget to buy something for that special nerd in your life at the Chemistry Gift Shop at Cafe Press.